Hey guys, it's DC here and today I'd like to talk to you about beginner projects to get you started with hacking. So I was sitting here and I was reading through a couple of YouTube comments and I saw this question coming up asking me what are some beginner projects that you can get started on to get yourself started in cybersecurity. Now these projects aren't necessarily cybersecurity related, they are sort of uh, more broadly IT, but they do all sort of relate to cybersecurity, so it's definitely worth mentioning. And yeah, I'm, I'm actually recording a video in the daytime for the first time in a very long time. <laughs> anyway, first project that I think is really great for learning about firewalls is to create your own firewall. When you're working in cybersecurity as a pen tester or in a blue team environment like a, a SOC analyst role or um, some sort of incident response role, you're going to come across different firewalls. So how best to learn about firewalls? Build your own. My recommendation here is to actually create your own firewall using something like PFSense and just to create it in a virtual box and run it over the top layer of your uh, home network to see what sort of traffic is coming in and out, what sort of visibility you get, and then how to push those logs into uh, something else, any sort of log viewer that you like that you think, hey, this might be cool to, to look through. I say PFSense because it's free and it's pretty well documented. There's heaps of different resources out there and different types of files that you can use, but my personal preference is PFSense. A great way to build a firewall into a system of attack and defense is to, uh, one that I like doing, which is to have two Raspberry Pis, one with PFSense and one as an automated hacking tool. And on that automated hacking tool, you would have something like a bunch of automated recon scripts or yes, attack scripts written in that are just trying to push holes in that firewall. Now what you would do on the firewall side is to create a hole and then create a honeypot off the back of that. What that is going to do is trick that automated hacking tool to go through to your firewall, go straight through the network. It thinks it's gotten through its success all the way through, which is great. And then at the other end, you see it, it going into this honeypot, which is sort of what you want to trap that attack. Now, why is this a good cybersecurity project for beginners? Well, let me tell you. <laughs> Number one, it's really, really easy to build. You don't have to use Raspberry Pis. You can do this all within a virtual network. You're going to learn things like how to build a network and how to virtualize NICs or network interfaces. You're going to learn how to build a firewall. You're going to learn how to manage rules. You're going to learn some basic scripting of uh, automation and uh, attacking tools. And hell, you might even be able to throw some uh, malware or like SQL injection or whatever you really want into that attack and learn about all of that as well. It's your own little hacking lab and it's a beautiful little environment that you can build together. And I'll throw some links in the description to uh, some different articles out there that explain how to build honeypots, how to build a PFSense firewall, and some automated tools that you can run to just constantly attack the networks. So what you want to do there is essentially have this attack and defense running and you kick off the attack and you just you just watch the traffic. That's what you want. And yeah, you are sort of trying to hack yourself and yes, it might cause some bandwidth latency, but if it's something that you just want to build up and build a lab on to sort of explore and understand, it's perfect for that. It's a great project as well for beginners because as a beginner, you need to know all of these different fundamentals. For example, learning how to build networks and how to break them, how to build systems and how to break them, and pretty much everything in between that comes along with it. There's programming script languages in there, there's automation built in, there's virtualization, there's, there's all the keywords basically that you need in this project. And it's, it's a great project to do. And I don't know, maybe I'll, I'll actually make a video of me building one of these um, attack defense labs that you guys can do for yourself. It's also awesome to show on a resume if you want to build one of these systems to showcase it to an employer when they say, what sort of stuff do you do in your spare time? What's your hobbies? And you say, well, let me tell you about this amazing home project I built where there's an attack and defense lab. I've covered all the bases. You'd be surprised if you show enough passion on this sort of project that you're going through. Employers will be like, man, this guy's really keen on this industry. He even built his own crazy lab at home where it's 
you know, it's killing each other. They're, they're going against each other. Alternatively, another way to do this is to have an attack, defense, and attack. So these two are trying to attack each other. That's the end goal is for them to attack each other and your defense system in the middle is trying to defend against both. Now, eventually it'll, it'll work like a DDoS where the bit in the middle is going to fall over and start failing and these will somehow get through. You're going to have to work out for yourself how that happens, but yeah, I don't know. Let me know in the comments below if you'd like to see me build an attack defense lab. Anyway, thanks for watching this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. As always, leave a comment down below if you have any questions or if you would like to see me build this lab and uh, how explain how it's done exactly in a little tutorial just for you. If you're new here, please subscribe. And of course, please like this video to help it out in the algorithm. Anyway, thanks, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.